Hello, it's a beautiful day and we're going to learn how to crochet a flower. This is what they look like. They have three levels of petals, or three layers I should say. And this one, and this pink one, and this yellow one were made out of Karen Simply Soft yarn. And this I don't know what color you call that, mustard. <laughs> and this variegated one that I did, these aren't three separate colors of different skeins of yarn, it's just a variegated yarn. But this one and this one were done with a red heart yarn. And this last one, that's also a kind of a bi-color variegated yarn, is um, a cotton yarn. And so I'll move these little beauties over here and I'm not going to crochet our first flower in green because that just doesn't seem appropriate or right. I'm going to do it in red so it looks kind of like a rose. And it is the red um, Karen Simply Soft that I'm using and I'm also using a size H hook and so we will get started. This is my fancy way of doing the first slip knot. <laughs> I make a pretzel. Do, do, yes, there are much more sophisticated ways of doing that, but that's the way I've done it my whole life. And then we'll do six chain stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll do a slip stitch in this first chain that we work to make a circle. Like so. And then, flip that tail out of the way. Well, okay, it wants to stay there. Then, chain four. One, two, three, four, and now in this circle, this loopy circle that we did, I'm going to lay this tail kind of around that circle so that it get that end of yarn gets worked in and then I can just snip off the end. So in this circle I'm going to work a series of single crochet and then one, two, chains, well, I'm going to do three. Three chain stitches. And then another single crochet. And three chain stitches. One, two, three. What we want to end up with are eight little tiny flower petals. Single crochet. One, two, three. Single crochet. One, two, three. Single crochet inside the center of that loop. many we have so far. I have not been keeping track, so I'll need to take a moment and give them a count after this last three. We'll see what we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. This will be seven. So I need to do one more single crochet. I'm kind of get that tail in there with it. And my last one, two, three, and now I'm going to do a slip stitch. This is the original four that we did, and I'm going to do a slip stitch in not the first, but the second chain of those first four. 
to close off this first round. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay, we've got eight. Now, let's see, what do I do? Let's do a, um, I gotta look at my notes. Chain. Okay, now do a one chain stitch and then in this first set or this first, we'll call it petal, um, we'll do a single crochet, chain stitch, two double crochet, chain stitch, and a single crochet. But this is the most confusing part of the flower. And the reason is because this first set of petals there's, if you can see this, there's five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we just worked eight on here, and that's so that these back, the second layer and the third layer of petals will have eight petals. It just looks cuter with five in the center, um, I think. So that's the reason we're doing it this way. So what that means on here is we will be randomly skipping some of these petals for now. So I'm going to work and we'll just do five out of the eight. So in this first space, this first petal, I'll go ahead and do our set of a single crochet, chain one and two double crochet. There's a single crochet, chain one. Now we'll do two double crochets. and then a chain and a single crochet. We've just worked a first petal. Now I'm going to skip this next space and move on to the one after that and work our set of a single crochet, chain one, two double crochets, chain one, and a single crochet to finish off that petal. And uh, now I will not skip this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and do another petal in the very next one with a single crochet, chain one, two double crochets, one, and Two. Got a little mess right here. Okay, not taken care of. Where was I? Two double crochet, chain, now the single crochet. Got three petals, so I will skip this next space and move on to the one after that right here and work another set or petal which is a chain, I mean a single crochet, sorry, chain, two double crochet, and a chain and a single crochet in that space. One more petal and we have two spaces. So I'm gonna skip this next space right here and go to the last space right there and do a, sing, a single crochet, chain, two double crochets all in this last space. And then a chain and a single crochet. Every time we finish off these petals, we will do a slip stitch in that first single crochet in the first 
petal that we did. So I'll slip right into there, like so. There's our first set of inner petals.